Da, 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 da. Action! You're welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. How is it going, Tommy? It is going great. For the first time ever in my lifetime, all the sports are happening at once. Football, baseball, basketball. They're all happening at the same time. And hockey. It's crazy. You also forgot one thing, Tommy, and that's racing. NASCAR. <laughs> oh yeah, NASCAR too. Right, because I've been watching a lot of NASCAR lately and watching football and baseball and all the sports. So, so welcome everybody. We have some YouTube celebrity gossip news and let's go to work and here we go. So welcome back everyone. Well Tommy, we got some news. So what's going on for this week? Okay, a 26 year old YouTuber, Avif Sahar, uh, just recently was announced as he will be taking over the voice of Cleveland Brown from the Family Guy show. Um, <clears throat> back in June, the original Mike Henry, who was the voice for, since the show's beginning, uh, stepped down back in June. Sahar puts out a TikTok video, kind of joking, making a little fun, a little jab, saying, oh, I don't know who could do the voice. Oh, who could do, who could do the voice after he found out? Because, you know, like all the fans of, uh, of, of, a, of a show and a particular character, he was sad and thought, oh, no, we're never going to see this character again. And then the people over at Family Guy, including Seth Farland, saw this, were made aware of this, and then say, hey, would you like to take over? So he's now officially will be taking over, uh, not for this season, because this season's already wrapped up and is airing, so it'll still be Mike Henry. But next year and going on into the future, and however long the show goes on for, it will be, Sahar will be the voice of uh, Cleveland Brown, the family guy. Now the reason why Mike stepped down, because he did feel it was right for a white person to voice a person of color, it should be a person of color voicing the person of, uh, of a character that is a person of color. So that's why he stepped down. Well, I think that is a good thing that he stepped down and let somebody else take over the role. Plus, you know, what comes along with that role is, you know, stardom. So you're basically a voice actor and with voice acting, you get more roles like that. So. Uh, good for him. Now this character, Cleveland Brown, well, um, the Cleveland Brown show is pretty great. And I see nothing wrong with it. And it's pretty funny. A lot of people don't like it. Just because it's, you know, there's a lot to do with this show that goes into racism. And, but I don't see racism in this show. But that's just my thought. So overall, it's a great thing that we're getting a new voice actor for this show. And also, let people know out there, he has been doing uh, impersonations such as Cleveland Brown for the past seven years on his YouTube channel while doing gameplay. So it's not like he's just, just all of a sudden was thrust into this. No, he's been uh, able to do this, have this talent for the past seven years. We will let you know what he does next. And it's pretty good that, like I said, you know, he's awesome for you know, handing the part to somebody else. I, I commend him very much, so. So next time you hear, not this season, but the next season, just write out people that it will be the new person's voice cut in the next seasons to come. All right, so basically you could check out Tommy's story down on the section down below and go click that link, read more about the show, exciting news. But uh, let's continue, Tommy. Moving on, we have Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin has been on Dancing with the Stars. She's made appearances on there. And she's been dressing as a lion. Um, since she's been on Dancing with the Stars, people have gone to ask her about her ex, um, 
about Dawn, about personal questions, what's going on with the case, because they're trying to build a case against her. Um, if you've seen the Tiger King, you know what I'm talking about, for the murder of uh, or the disappearance of her ex-husband, Dawn, and that had success, very big success, with, you know, the Tigers and having his own zoo until Carol Baskin married him. It was not an elimination night, but they still eliminated her anyways. But meanwhile, while they were, um, while Carol was on Dancing with the Stars, some of her castmates uh, came back from the Tiger King and they supported her through the rounds and as she was dancing, um, they would do um, a lot of interviews about what's going on with Carol and being there for Carol. I mean, uh, yeah, that's kind of weird because it's called Dancing with the Stars, not um, interviewing the interviewing people who are watching the show or the judges. It's called Dancing with the Stars, and I don't see her as a star, so I'm just wondering how she even got onto the show. I have no idea, but you know, like you said, Dancing with the Stars, right? Quote yep. unquote. But you know, this is you know clearly not a star or a celebrity in my eyes. But that her choice of wardrobe was weird. It wasn't traditional wardrobe because I've seen a couple uh, seasons here and there, um, and they're more traditional like ballroom gowns for the women, and then uh, suits for the men. You know, the traditional kind of, uh, or or if it's more of a uplifting dance like the rumba, they have more attire that's appropriate to the type of dance they're doing. Exactly. So I have to ask everybody out there, our uh, subscribers, what do you think about the Tiger King and what do you think about Carol Baskin? Do you think she did murder Don, her ex, or do you think he's missing MIA and he just decided to leave her just like that? What are your thoughts about it? Uh, leave comments down in the section down below about me and Tommy's stories. and. Uh, what can people do, Tommy? They can subscribe to either of our channels. They can hit that notification bell after they subscribed to be notified when we are posting videos. Also, just check periodically um, and like the video and share the video because it'll help uh, more people discover us. Right. So, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Anything before we go, Tommy? Um, thanks for all of you people watching out there. There'll be more to come and uh, be yourself. Right. And this has been a top level media. Stay safe out there. All right. Bye for now. Bye.